From the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, meteorologist Brian Nisnansky. All righty, across the state this morning we have quiet weather. It's going to be another beautiful day. If you like the weekend, you're going to love today. In fact, it's probably going to be a couple degrees warmer. We're looking on the Precision uh, satellite and radar this morning, and you can see uh, besides uh, some thin clouds overhead this morning, uh, you can see spreading across uh, the state, uh, we have some quiet weather. Now, we do have a northeast wind, and with this northeast wind, again, it's going to bring in some cooler air right along the bay. And of course, right along uh, Lake Michigan here. So while most of us warm up to around 70 this afternoon, if you're close to the water, again, it will be significantly cooler, probably 50s from, say, Kiwani, Manitowoc, down towards Sheboygan. So currently today, uh, it's 45 degrees here in Green Bay. And again, we do have some thin clouds overhead, but the sun will work its way right through that. And again, we're going to look for mostly sunny skies. Uh, 46 uh, this morning in Appleton and across northeastern Wisconsin, 43 in Fish Creek, 37 Sturgeon Bay, 44 in Sheboygan. Boygan uh, checking in on Shano at 46 degrees this morning and across the Midwest here. International Falls is up to 31. Marquette 32, uh, quite a bit warmer in Chicago with the temperature at 54 degrees. Now here's the temperature trend. These are the high temperatures the next seven days. Uh, the normal high is 63, so we're going to be above that. 74 today, 72 tomorrow, 70 on Wednesday, a little bit cooler on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with highs in the 60s. Let's go through the forecast highlights. Again, we're looking at a couple of gorgeous days. Today, tomorrow looking good. Wednesday may also be pretty good, except for our next chance for some showers and storms will be Wednesday night. And again, these next few days, that's going to be quite a bit cooler right along the lake. All right, the Midwestern satellite and radar this morning. Again, we have some clouds spreading at least across the northern uh, or the southern two thirds of the state here. Uh, you can see down to the south of us, uh, there's some showers down towards, uh, say, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, uh, southern Indiana here, and again over towards uh, southern Ohio here, uh, some showers. This is still uh, that same storm system, area of low pressure. Uh, uh, that's cut off from the jet stream that continues to crawl to the south of us. So let's go through precision cast and you'll notice that storm system stays to the south. We're going to have high pressure, just a few clouds overhead, mostly sunny skies today. For tomorrow, more of the same, mostly sunny, maybe even a little bit warmer tomorrow. And then as we head into Wednesday, there's a weak cold front and also a very weak disturbance that will give us a chance for a shower or storm, uh, looks like by Wednesday evening. All right, your forecast for today, mostly sunny, a high of 70 and pleasant for tonight, a low of 43, mainly clear skies. And Here's your seven day forecast 72 on Tuesday. Again, we'll look for a chance of a shower or storm late Wednesday and then Thursday morning. And then a cold front moves through and we're back into the 60s, but not a deep freeze by any means. It looks like our nice spring weather is going to continue. If uh, you got to do some uh, yard work these next couple of days, should be perfect. Again, uh, things are looking up across the area. It's too bad it's not the weekend because now that we're seeing 70s, everybody has to work. I know. And the most you can do is, like you said, take your lunch outside. Yeah, right? it's a perfect day for. That. You know what's great is seeing the, the, the little leaves started to grow on the trees and stuff. I love this time here. Springtime. It is, yes. All right.